Hey guys, my name's Jordan from Side of Fries, and you're watching. Bacon Magic with Jordan! Nah. Sponsored by Tongle. Today we're going to be breaking down the Sith Lord and mini clone shot from our Pringles commercial, Wookie Mistake. So let's hop on in. Our approach to this shot is to composite our mini Sith Lord over multiple copies of our Stormtrooper through the use of green screen and good old fashioned digital trickery. To do that, we'll be looking to capture a background plate, mini Sith Lord plate, and a whole bunch of Stormtrooper plates. In order to pull off this effect, we need the following. A green screen, a couple C-stands, clamps and sandbags to make sure that green screen is nice and taut, and lights. I would recommend two adjacent Kinos as they produce a nice, soft, even light. And lastly, a good old retractable toy lightsaber. The real trick with these green screens is to try and separate the lights you're using for the green screen itself with those that are impacting your on-screen talent. We were in the rather tricky spot of having to key full body, so it made the job more difficult, but just do the best you can to ensure a solid, consistent exposure on the green and work from there. Once our green screen was set, we flew in our mini Sith Lord and followed him up with our Stormtrooper. Now it's worth noting that this was not the original plan. We had the green screen on set for a separate shot of a CG Pringles can breaking through the office window. It was only once all the mini Stormtroopers were lined up that we saw the error of our ways because these little kids would not stand still. But out of the darkness shone one bright light. A child who stood so still, he'd change everything. So in flew the green screen, along with a valuable life lesson. Always have a green screen on hand. We took multiple takes of this stormtrooper in various positions doing various things until we felt safe with the sheer volume of options that we had. From there we moved to the sweet air-conditioned paradise where the magic really happens. After hopping into After Effects, the first thing I did was peruse our stormtrooper footage to find a nice assortment of actions. From there we masked and keyed each stormtrooper layer with After Effects' built-in key light plugin, making special note to keep the correct scale and perspective in mind. Once we had our rows in order, we matched the in-camera depth of field to the stormtroopers in the middle and back row. At this point, you can do any further fine-tuning to your keys. In this instance, we added a nice little edge blur for softening and some spill removal. Next, we keyed our Sith Lord using the exact same approach. From here, we added the lightsaber, and this is where the retractable toy came in handy as it gave us a reference point for the movement of the blade. As for the lightsaber itself, Video Copilot currently has an awesome plugin called Saber that's completely free. Once we'd installed Saber, we set up the parameters and tracked both ends of the beam to be in line with that of our Sith Lord lightsaber. We then masked out the toy lightsaber's blade to avoid seeing it underneath our effect, and created a faux extension for the lightsaber to cover the birth point of our Saber beam. Ensuring motion blur was turned on, we were good to move on to our glows. For this, we simply created a solid the same hue as our lightsaber, changed the layer's blend mode to add, manually masked out its locations, and keyframed its position, opacity, and mask feathering. And as a nice final touch, we threw contact shadows under all the little feet we could find to ground our actors and seal up the composite. Now let's take a look at our final product. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, my name's Jordan from Side of Fries, and may the force be with you. Jordan. Dude, I'm sorry, man. Is the camera okay? Make it magic with